Hello, everyone. My name is Dylan Bone. I worked on this Monarch Butterfly Awareness Campaign, where me and my team members, Santiago, uh, Asdis, Claire, and Savannah, we all created a campaign, multimedia campaign, to raise awareness of the issues facing the Monarch Butterfly and how College Station residents and students could help fix that. And so we begin today with our mission. Uh, at our free first meeting, we developed our mission. We said through devoted team building efforts, a commitment to learning and intellectual growth, and the pursuit of excellence, this team comprised of the members above shall by the end of this project, grow both professionally and academically while raising awareness for the Monarch Butterfly with a carefully crafted multimedia campaign. And so the campaign. We began by setting out short-term, mid-term, and long-term tasks uh, to answer this question, how do we form a campaign that makes people aware of the issue and gives them a solution? So in the short term, we had to meet up to delegate tasks slash roles while also determining each individual teammate's strengths and weaknesses as it pertains to this project. We had to research government and nonprofit organizations to keep in contact when developing this campaign and begin brainstorming campaign strategies. And so what we did is mainly team building and brainstorming. Uh, we didn't get to uh, reaching out to nonprofits until around uh, a later date. Uh, but moving on to the midterm, uh, we had to get in contact with the community partners. And this is where we emailed uh, several people. We researched uh, what exactly was going on and how to fix it. So we emailed uh, several doctors, several people about what exactly could we do? What message do we put out to help save these butterflies? In the long term, uh, we had to finalize the campaign and uh, turn it in, basically. So we began our multimedia campaign with a poster. We wanted to keep it simple, provoking and cohesive and aesthetically pleasing. So as you can see, it says, join us in our fight to save the monarch butterfly. Uh, it's got some very soothing color tones, very beautiful butterflies, and uh, basically makes the audience wonder what exactly is going on in this picture, why exactly people are saying we need to save the monarch butterfly, and makes them want to learn more. So they look it up, and they go, and they find out, and they learn exactly how they could help. Uh, so as it shows, it's simple provoking, and in our opinion, it was cohesive and aesthetically pleasing. And so our video ad, and this is a fun part. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Today, we all face a shared problem. Monarch butterfly populations are fading in droves and are facing a dire time. So what exactly is causing shared problem? Today, we all face a shared problem. Today, we all face a shared problem. Monarch butterfly populations are fading in droves and are facing a dire time. So what exactly is causing the problem and what can we do to help our flying friends? We want to ensure that people are aware of what is happening so we can all take preventive measures to bring back the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly has been an endangered species but has been overlooked by many other more well-known animals. There has been an astonishing billion monarch butterflies that have disappeared. There are many things that are causing monarch butterflies to be extinct, but the most damaging causes have been weather changes, destruction of breeding grounds, and the demolition of home forest in Mexico. These have heavily disrupted the monarch butterflies' migration patterns. 
The monarch butterflies are continuing to make a comeback in Bryan College Station, Texas, with little tiny projects that we can do every day to maintain the production of the monarchs. The big factors that keep the monarch butterflies away is the aspects of big city pollution and not enough milkweed to go around to sustain the monarchs to survive. Pollution is the well-known cause for insects dying as well. Global warming is another underlying factor that needs to be changed so we can help the king butterflies. Roughly 99% of all North American monarchs migrate each winter to Olmia fir forest on 12 mountain tops in central Mexico. Scientists estimate the population size by measuring the area of trees turned orange by the clustering butterflies. The population has been dangerously low since 2008. In the mid-1990s, the population was estimated at nearly 1 billion butterflies, but this year's population is dropped to approximately 93 million butterflies. So what can you do? Together, we can bring back the monarch butterfly populations. The butterflies often don't finish their journey because of sheer exhaustion, mainly due to a lack of food. By simply placing a cheap, easy to find butterfly feeder in our backyards, not only can we give the butterflies a vital resting spot, we could help bring a renewed beauty to our beloved town. And so as you can see, we put our uh, video ad and basically what we wanted this to do was act like a YouTube or a TV ad where you have uh, an audience that's able to view it and see exactly the issues, the facts, and how they can fix it. And that was our mission in the video ad, and I think we did very well with that. And so our radio ad was uh, quite similar, uh, except no visual aid. So let's go look at that real quick. Howdy Brazos County students and residents. My name is Dylan Bone, and I'm with a group representing Texas A&M's Monarch Project. We want everyone to be aware of the monarch butterfly species and the dangers facing it. The number of butterflies are decreasing alarmingly and are in grave danger. To save the dwindling populations, we must all join together and help out by planting more milkweed, using non-toxic pest controls, and helping our local monarch garden. Together, Howdy Brazos County students and residents. My name is Dylan Bone, and I'm with a group representing Texas A&M's Monarch Project. We want everyone to be aware of the monarch butterfly species and the dangers facing it. The number of butterflies are decreasing alarmingly and are in grave danger. To save the dwindling populations, we must all join together and help out by planting more milkweed, using non-toxic pest controls, and helping our local monarch garden. Together, we can help save the monarch butterfly. And so yeah, that was basically the same thing except just audio and once again introducing a solution that includes the community. So execution, how did we do during the project? We tried to meet weekly except for one week we couldn't find a time because of scheduling. Uh, so the first two weeks we were uh, brainstorming, figuring out the project. Uh, we had to start over at one point just because we couldn't exactly um, decide on what exactly we wanted to do. Uh, the next two, we started getting going. We were uh, actually making campaign material. And the final meeting is where we finalized our campaign. Now, something we should have done is reach out to our community partners early on because some were difficult to get a hold of, some just never answered back, um, and include them more in our project. And uh, we were a little bit confused on that, mainly just because we didn't know exactly how to include them besides just asking what uh, they advised that we should do. And so, yes, once again, innovate this campaign by going out to local government sources along with nonprofits. Uh, and then another thing we could have done is we could have made a website and uh, given a longer time period, make a website, put a link in the poster, uh, give some way for people to get to it in both the video and the radio ad. 
so that people could go and learn more on this topic and we could point them exactly where they can find out more information, more facts, and more research about the monarch butterfly. And with that, that concludes this presentation. Thank you for listening and goodbye.